going on, everybody? It's Dan here, back with another Moonshine Talking. Welcome aboard. Uh, hope everyone's having a good one. It's been pretty good for me, I suppose. Uh, what are we doing today? Today we're going to do an album review. We're going to talk about the new Deceased album that just came out, Children of the Morgue. Uh, I came out last Friday. Uh, what was last Friday? August 30th? I think that's what it was. Uh, on Hell's Headbangers. Uh, this is normally the point where I show you a copy of something that I have, but I don't currently have it. Uh, apparently there was some snafu with the uh, delivery or shipment or whatever the hell was going on with the with the pre-orders and all that. So I'm currently waiting to get my copy of it. Uh, so we'll see how long that's going to take. But anyhow, a couple of places, uh, they, were, they were putting out uh, full album releases of it online. So I listened. I know you can check it out on Bandcamp. Uh, I end up checking it out on YouTube uh, through one of the channels that I subscribe to. And it's killer. I mean, uh, Deceased, they've been around for a whopping 40 years. Uh, I think they could be best described as, to me, if, if anyone in the metal genre could be considered a blender metal band, then I, I would say that they would probably be a blender metal band, meaning that they take all sorts of different uh, different styles and incorporate them and kind of make it their own. Uh, there's a patent pending on that probably with Drew's fur, but nonetheless, uh, I'll, I'll still use the term because I think it's appropriate in this sense. I mean, they're like a combination of of classic heavy metal, of thrash, of death metal, uh, it even at times with a lot of the, the time shifts and the dynamics in the songs, it's almost proggy at times. Uh, but yeah, it's really good. They're a really good band. Uh, I first heard them when I was, we had a compilation, uh, Death is Just the Beginning. Anytime I talk about Deceased, this is what I bring up. Uh, I, had a, I had one of the Death is Just the Beginning compilations that came out on uh I want to say it was relapse or, or nuclear. I forget if it was nuclear blast or relapse, but they had a. I think it was relapse, and they had Freak of the Dead on there, and that was a killer song. That was one of the better songs on the compilation. Uh, that was my first exposure to them. I can't say that I ran out and bought everything that that they had put out uh, before, during, or after that time. I just started getting into collecting their stuff in the past couple of years. You know, being back online and, and starting to hear people talk about them a lot. And then I was like, oh, okay, you know, definitely. I, I know who these guys are. Let me let me start digging into their discography and everything they put out is killer. You know, they, they can't complain about a thing that they do. Uh, it's all really good. Uh, King Fowley and Company have, have put out a tremendous one on this one. It's, uh, it's really good. I uh, heard the first single, uh, Children of the Morgue. It starts out with technically there's a there's an interlude or an intro at the uh, beginning called Destination Morgue. It starts out with a really cool riff, and then it leads into Children of the Morgue, which is a really good song. Uh, definitely one of the better ones. Probably my favorite one on the album is Grave Digger. It's got a it's probably the most slow, groovier one on, on the album. But then it, it, at times it'll speed up and it has different elements to it where, where it'll do stuff like that. But that one's probably the, uh, I, I like kind of like the, the counterbalance that it has between the, the chunkier riffs and then like the fast picking that they do underneath. It, it's got a, got a good flow to it. Uh, I like all the interludes on this thing. Uninvited Dirge, I enjoyed that. That was the one that, that preceded uh, Grave Digger. Uh, I like the fact that uh, Children of the Morgue and then Farewell. Towards the end of Farewell, they kind of, they bring back the the main riff from Children of the Morgue. So I thought that was kind of like a, a neat little thing that they did, like a, a cool arrangement, almost like this was. I don't know. In my head, it was almost kind of like it was a play that was that was playing out. You know, no pun intended. And and that was the final act and kind of tied it all together. It was really cool. Uh, they do a couple songs where there's um, definite, like the Reaper is nesting and da, 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 the brooding lament. They do 
they do stuff that's almost maiden like with the with the riffage and and it's it's very killer stuff um then yeah the whole thing is is really really good uh, i'm not going to go into too deep a detail on it i mean just the the drumming on it the drum fills that king fowley does uh the, the way the band uh mixes between thrash and death and classic metal it's really well done um i i would rate this one probably a it's it's up there it's it might be a four and a half out of five on the on the stank face meter i definitely give it, it it's definitely one of the better releases that's come out this year i mean we've had some killer ones coming out recently between this and nile i'm really looking forward to the new bewitcher i want to hear how that turns out uh can't wait to hear that one um and there's a lot of different stuff that's been coming out that's been really good uh can't really complain it's been there was kind of like a little bit of a lull there as far as new releases, although, you know, I'm sure there's stuff that's come out that I'm not aware of because I'm not aware of everything. But yeah, this one is, is tremendous. I, I would pick it up when you get a chance. Uh, go back and listen to any of their older stuff. Uh, Blueprints for Madness, uh, Fearless Undead Machines. Those are killer. Uh, of course, Luck of the Corpse. Uh, classic, classic stuff. Um, but yeah, this is a good one. I, I really enjoyed it. I, I think they did a tremendous job on it. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, so yeah, go pick it up. Once again, it's on Hell's Headbangers. Uh, it's out now. It's available through Bandcamp. I'm sure you can find it through other mediums. Uh, but yeah, I, I would definitely, I, I'd highly recommend this one. It is, it is a good one for certain. Uh, yeah, so that's that for now. Um, got some other stuff going on. Uh, Actually, I kind of got a special, unique video that'll be coming out very shortly that I hope everybody enjoys. I hope they watch it because it's a, it, it was kind of a labor of love of sorts and it, it was fun and I, I thought it was, uh, at least for me, it was entertaining. I, I thought it was funny and entertaining and I hope everybody enjoys it. And I thought it was kind of a cool concept. So that's, we're going to, I'm going to put that out pretty soon and, and hopefully people enjoy it. And then beyond that, just doing my normal thing. Uh, I'll probably do some collection updates here soon, uh, what's been spinning and all that sort of thing, because I, I had a I had a ton of stuff that I that I purchased recently and uh, wanted to mention what I've been listening to and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, other than that, that that's pretty much that. So anyhow, uh, if you like this, go go check out any of my other stuff. If you like any other reviews and the, and the this and the that. Um, and uh that's pretty much it. I'm just babbling at this point. But as always, everyone, stay sick, stay heavy, stay brutal. Always tuck your chin upon impact. Don't forget to breathe. Everyone have a good one. And I will catch you on the next video. Later.